Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Crazy Bone edition of Sunday Booster Cracking, and we've got some really cool, exciting, offshoot Crazy Bone-esque type packs to be going into today. But no face cam today. Still kind of getting over being sick, and I look like an absolute zombie. But let me show you what we're going to be looking at. Today we got some crazy bones quote unquote they're not made by magic box toys they're made by another company coming all the way back from 2010 released only in brazil we've got these guys right here we've got nitsu packs here also known as jumpers they went by two different names but this was only in south america in the brazil releases i believe the run was from like 2010 to 2011 they only did a few series of these but this is series one right here it looks really really sweet with a lot of really awesome designs and one of the coolest things about this is uh, they actually have like clans in these so there's actually different like categories of clans that you can pull from series one has ninjas they've got dinosaurs they've got cyborgs and then they also have dragons which is pretty freaking sweet so you can get uh, I think up to like a few different from each different clan and the designs of these things just look really, really dope. Honestly, uh, they're really well put together and it feels kind of like that old school, new school vibe. Uh, so I'm really excited to get my hands on these. These are pretty rare, especially to find sealed in the packaging. And I've got quite a few of them here. There we go. There's all of them right there. We've got a few of them to go through, but along with series one, I also got series two. And I'm really pumped for series two because the clans in this one are like straight up my alley. They've got monsters, they've got Egypt, they've got Vikings, and they've also got Greek mythology type S characters. So you can see like the Minotaur, Vikings, uh, like the Anubis type character and a Frankenstein guy. I'm going to love series two. I just, I guarantee it. This is going to be an awesome one to open up as well. And we've got plenty of packs for series two as well. So now that we got the introductions out of the way and getting you guys hyped for these things, I, I want to ask you guys too, like, do you guys have any of these in your collections? I, like I said, these are pretty rare. They're hard to come by sealed. Do you have any sealed? Do you have any just loose figures from the Jumpers Nitsu sets? Uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys have from this thing. I, I've barely seen anything. I've seen a couple loose figures here and there on eBay, uh, but man, I was really lucky to just find these sealed packs and I got them at a what I think was a steal of a price, man. These were not crazy expensive. They were a little bit, but, and they were shipped all the way from Brazil, which brought the cost up. But uh, I think it was well worth it to get like 12, 13 packs of these things. As far as like what styles you can get in these things, I know there's a variety of colors you can get as per usual with like the Go Go S type stuff. Uh, I believe there's also glow in the darks, but that could be just for like series two and three. I'm not sure if it was in series one. So we're gonna have to see if we pull anything interesting. But yeah, let's get going. Let's open this first one up. We get two of them in here and two stickers, it looks like. What is that? Chromos? Chromos as a sticker and then two of the little bones themselves. Let's see this. Let's see. All right. First one. First one. Whoa. It looks like it's the one of the dragons, potentially. He's gray. I believe his name is Fireco, and he is from the dragon list. He looks pretty dope. I like him. Look at like just how much detail and stuff that went into these guys. They got the wings. They even got like a very similar stamp going on with the back, although it's again, not magic box. Let's see what our second one is in here. I'll let you know what. Let's get out. Let's get out the stickers. Let's see what the stickers are like. All right. Carnivore Hera here. And then Sean as a ninja. Ninja Sean. He looks pretty cool. All right. Let's see our last one. Let's see what clan we got. Ooh, we got a nice black looking one here. Also looks to be from the dragon list. That is Toasty. 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 It's probably Toasty. Man, he really doesn't like to show up. But man, he is like a dark, dark black on him. Dang. But they were not afraid to put some edges on these guys. It's kind of nice. I kind of like the boldness of not just keeping them like contained to this shape right here. They went they went for the wings. I appreciate it. All right, next one. Let's see. What will we find in here? Let's get the stickers out again. We got Cyborg. We just got some numbers for his name. And Blobby as a carnivore, which would be the dinosaur clan. And let's see what our first one is. Oh, these guys are thin. Wow, they are thin. Holy cow. All right, we got a ninja, it looks like. He is very, very tiny, very, very light. Uh, kind of a cool fluorescent yellow. His name is Jigs, I believe. Kind of cool looking. He's got like a little bandana over his eyes and holding some daggers. Let's see what this one is. I'm going to dip him up and see how many we get from each clan too. 
All right, looks like we got a dinosaur one. A very interesting, he's like got no eyes. He's all mouth. A cool looking pink though. You don't see that kind of color pink very often with these. That is very nice actually. I like that a lot. No eyes on him. Corlon, Corlon, Corlin, something like that for his name. Interesting guy. All right, so next one. I'm gonna open one of these from the top so I can actually get a good thumbnail picture since I forgot to take pictures before I started. So gotta keep one of these packs looking nice. And let's see the stickers. All right, we got another, oh, we got a cyborg in this one? Oh, for a second there. Okay, wait, cyborg. Were there cyborgs in here? I thought there was, oh yeah, yeah, cyborgs were in here. Flago. And then we've got another cyborg, John. John, I guess. He looks pretty sweet. First guy, let's see him. He looks a little bit meatier. And it looks like this should be a cyborg in that nice, cool looking pink again, too. Wygor is his name, and looking like a pig with some fire stacks is his game. I guess that's it, huh? Okay, he's an interesting design. I don't know. Let's see what the second one is. And it looks like we got another one of our really stark black guy here. I forget his name, but you can at least tell what he looks like in this one. <laughs> He's not blended in with the background or anything. There you go. Does he have four eyes? Looks pretty sick. I like the green on that. Next one, pull out the stickers. Ooh, I like it. It shows all of the four clan. Oh, no, no. This is just a dinosaur clan one. Okay. And then we got a cyborg. Again, just numbers. Didn't we see these numbers before? Interesting that they gave us like are these individual stickers? No, it's all one piece. First one from it. Let's pull them out. Ooh, okay. We've got an exact duplicate right here of our Fareko guy. So we've seen two duplicates from the dragons already, which is kind of a bummer. We want to see variety, but it looks like we got a new one right here. Very cool looking. See, he's got to be a dragon too, right? Just anything with the wings has got to be the dragon one, I guess. Troby. Troby is the name. And uh, looking like a vampire bat is his game. Okay, we've only got two packs left of series one. We are stacking up quite a bit on the dragons. We'd love to see one more cool dinosaur or ninja. Uh, why isn't this opening? Holy crap, okay. Just tried to yank from all the edges. Nothing was coming out here. Okay, Flago again. We got his sticker. And John again here. I'm just calling him John. John, like is in Cyborg John? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We got another gray one though. And he is a blob of a character. Looks to be, ooh, is he a ninja or is he a cyborg? Interesting. Huh. It's Sharip, and he is from the Ninja Clan. He's pretty cool. I like his uh, little beefy design. He'd be cool to get in, like, glow-in-the-dark, if it's possible. I don't know if it is from Series 1 again. Let's see what's the last one in here. Ooh, we got another ninja. That was the ninja pack. And, like, look at that neon orange. That's pretty crazy. Again, really light. Again, not afraid to just do these like edges and these sharp. I mean, it's not sharp, but like this could break, right? Like you don't see that on Crazy Bone guys where they just have stuff that'll break easily. Uh, they just did it with this one with these molds. And his name is Kyle. Kyle from the Ninja Clan. Last pack from series one. Ooh, I'm seeing some green. I'm going to hide it though. Let's get out our stickers first. We already got Hiri from the Dinosaurs and Flug. That, okay, these don't look that scary or intimidating. Interesting. Let's get our first green one out. Ooh, look at that dino. He's got a little raptor going on here. That's pretty sick looking. He looks actually really sweet. Again, the tail just protruding out, not scared of anything breaking here. And his name is Proc. Proc the Velociraptor looking dude. Last one from series one. We've got, oh, it's our boy over here in a nice yellow. That looks sick, actually. I like his, man, everything's just like super bright neon colors. I kind of love it. I love how they went, just went for it. No dull colors here, just bright as can be, blind you. So cyborgs are hard to get. We only got one from cyborgs, four from the ninjas, two from the dinosaurs, and then five from the dragons, interesting. Put those over there to the side because we've got series two to open up. Let's go, we gotta find some Egypt, some Vikings. I wouldn't mind getting some classic monsters. The only one I don't really care about is like the Greek mythology one. I could really care less about that. Let's see if I can open up this pack nice and carefully here. Gotta get those thumbnails, you know? That wasn't too bad. All right, let's see what our stickers look like in series two. Very much the same. We got a little pharaoh guy. Looks like two pharaoh guys, actually. Again, neons. I like the neons, man. And then we got a Valkyrie. 
That's pretty sick. Freya. Freya from the Viking clan here. That looks pretty sick. She's like a... That's a warrior version of Freya if I've ever seen one. She's just more like a Valkyrie type-esque. I don't think Freya's usually represented like that, but, you know, that's okay. That's okay. You gotta have them tough for battle if you're going Viking, I guess. Let's see what we got. First, whoa! We got a metal... Is that a metal Thor? Yo, silver metal Thor. That looks sick, man. Turn up the brightness on my light here a little bit so we can try to see him a little bit better. He's kind of hard to see. Gotta bring him like over here a little bit. Dang, that is sick. Okay, I was kind of confused because I was looking at the wiki and that's actually Thor from the wiki, but <laughs> the actual bone doesn't look like that. He's like in a kneeling down superhero pose landing stance, which is funny, but uh, that's okay, I confirmed it. We got a nice silver Thor. That's pretty great for a first hit. All right, let's see what the next one is here. And we've got, ooh, another neon green. What are you? You must be a monster of some kind. You got some like, slice your finger open titties on you, man. Those things are sharp looking. What the heck? They like seriously are. All right, let me see who you are. Frida, she's just a undead zombie chick, I guess, Frida. Hmm, interesting. Not my favorite, but uh, they did go pretty ham in the detail on the face a little bit. That's kind of nice. Next up, we can just open this one normally now. I can't believe we pulled a metal out of that first pack. I wonder how rare that is, because uh, I, I didn't really see any metals listed. Let's see. We got the Chimeras, probably from the Greek mythology. We got Freya here again from Vikings. See, these just look like Valkyries. I'm wondering if, like, Freya's kind of a word for Valkyrie, so I don't know, or like female warrior. I don't know, maybe I'm completely wrong on that, but let's keep looking into what we got here. Ooh, is that a green Frankenstein? Frankie boy over here? I don't think I really need to look up his name, do I? It's Franco, it's Franco, it's right next to me. All right, Franco, he looks cool. I like his design a lot, actually. That's a good Frankenstein crazy bone. Good shape to him. Let's see what the next one is. Ooh, oh, whoa, okay, this is, okay, let me just compare, because I almost thought this was silver. Man, it almost does look like it, but it's not, it's not at all. You can kind of tell right here a little bit in the light. This one's a little bit more matted, this one's just a little bit more shiny, but we got like the freaking Wolfman, dude. That is really dope looking. Wolfer is his name, and blending in is his game. Man, it's so hard to see these black ones sometimes, man. Dang, I'm going to have to brighten up this video a little bit for you guys to see that. He is really cool looking, though. Again, like, with the hands coming out. I love it. Like, they really went for it on these designs, and it came out great. Next up, all right, we've only gotten from two clans so far. We've got a pumpkin man here. Pump, pump, why can't I say that? Pamuk, pamuk, panuk, and Bassett. Ooh, Bassett looks pretty cool. I wonder how her figure actually looks. That looks nice, though. Let's see what our first pull is. Oh, we got another duplicate Franco here. Same color and everything. So we'll add that to the pile and we'll go for, ooh, we got the Anubis from Egypt. That is sick. Okay, okay. Little flat on the head. I, you know, if they're going bold with the designs, why not bring his head out a little bit? Like where's the design? Like he, even to the depth of the back, would have been fine to bring out his snout nose like why would you not i kind of disagree with that choice like if you're bringing the back out you can balance it correctly to make him stand and still bring out the snout uh because i think you'd look a lot better like that his name is anpu from the wiki but i'm pretty sure this is just you know that's just like a version of anubis i'm, I'm guessing next one let's get into it We've got a gray one poking out, but I don't want to reveal it yet. We got Olaf, Olaf here from Vikings. And we've got Chunk, classic vampire Dracula Chunk. Why are they always called something like that? Like, it has to do with the teeth, has to do with bite. Like, I don't know, you can be a little bit more original. Oops, I put stickers over here that don't belong. There we go. Now we got them separated correctly. First one out of there, we got the gray guy that was poking out. He looks to be like a Viking. He almost looks like... Uh, What's the guy's name? Redbeard? Redbeard Viking dude? Is that his name? Redbeard? Uh, it's called something else, isn't it? Gosh dang it, I can't remember. Oh no, 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 no. He's holding lightning bolts. This is Zeus from the Greek clan. Okay, it's Zeus. Wow, I thought like the armbands and stuff kind of made it look Viking, but no, this is Zeus. Interesting design choice for him. 
Last one from here. Let's see it. We've got, oh, look at the Thor. He's so cool, man. Now you can see him a little bit better without that glaring, bright shininess of the metal. Uh, I do like Thor's design a lot, actually. And again, nice blue, like this royal blue kind of matches right here with the playmat even. But you don't find this in like uh, the other Crazy Bones. They don't use these like color blends. It's kind of nice, nice change of paste. All right, let's do another one. Here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? I'm hiding them in there. We're not gonna cut. I'm gonna try not to cough in between so we don't cut. Freya again, and we got, whoa, Manticore. He looks actually really fire. That looks really cool, but I just saw something super shiny and awesome. Oh man, but let's pull out our Pumpkabon here. Pumpkin Boy, Jack-O-Lantern head uh, in that same royal blue. Looks pretty nice. Goes with our monster class. Oh boy, we just got another really awesome thing. Here it is. Whoa, we got a gold, man. Bassett. Oh, it's Bassett for sure. A gold Bassett. That is really dope. Oh, there's the close-up we want, huh? Yes, dude. That looks sick. Wow. You kind of even, man, that close-up is just getting the reflection of my uh my stuff back here. You see that in the reflection? <laughs> you can kind of see me looking like a zombie almost, but dang, a gold shiny basset metal whatever you want to call it looks like it's got a little hole underneath that's something i didn't ex inspect uh, but i was noticing the bottom is more cheaply made i think than crazy bones uh, as you can tell i feel like these are a little bit more cheaply made but not terribly so not terribly so it still does a pretty good job in my opinion but this was a great fight holy crap and again we've only gotten three of the clan so far how interesting is that? We've only got two more packs left, too. Oh, you see that voice crack? Oh, man. See? I didn't get enough rest with my uh, sickness. I'm pushing it. Okay, I just reached my recording time, so I just got completely cut off. Forgot to hit stop and then hit record again, so it just cut me off mid-sentence. Uh, Fenrir, yeah, he is pretty cool looking. Uh, he looks more like a dragon, though, than the Viking-esque uh, Fenrir. But we got Ast. Uh, this is, uh, what, like... Uh, Cleopatra or something like that. I feel like she's got a better name than Ast, but that's what they're giving us on the wiki too. So let's see what our first one is. A bright, bright yellow. Oh, we've got the the doggos. Ah, the doggos from Myth and Legend. This this has got to be the Greek one, right? The Chimera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Chimera Greek ones. Okay, there we go. So we finally got a Greek one. Oh wait, didn't we already? We did get a Greek one. I put. Zeus with the Vikings. What am I doing? So we did get all four with the Zeus one, but there we go. We got the Chimera. Now we got all four of the clans going here, which is pretty cool. And we can find out what our last one is. Ooh, look at that purple. Look at that little ghost, man. Come on, look at the detail on him. That's awesome. His name is Glub, and that is such a fitting, like, ghost ooze monster name. That is amazing, Glub. Oh, man. Uh, I love it, Glub. You are looking great in that purple, too. Wow, the detail on that. Just really selling it. Look at that guy, man. He looks awesome. A lot of monsters. A lot of, lot of monsters. We're not, like, finding barely anything from the others, but monsters are just going ham for it. Okay, but we have one pack left. Let's see what we can find here. Now, I'm going to slide these guys down, and I'm going to try to... I wasn't happy with how I opened that other one for the pictures, but I just like completely ruined this one. Wow. Just, whoa, giving stuff away, slicing stuff out. I just completely wrecked that package. So I'm going to have to deal with what I got. We got a hap here. That is from the Egypt one. They call it Epako or Epic, uh, but it's just the Egypt one basically. And then uh, battle, interdimensional battle, Nitsu's as just the like promo sticker, which we haven't seen yet before. Kind of cool. All right, but again, we just got another metal somewhere floating in here. Let's pull out this guy first. Okay, it's the Wolfman, the Howler guy, and you can see him a little bit better since he's not in the black and he's in that nice red. You can kind of see the detail going on him and he does look pretty cool, but of course we've gotten him. So let's see what that last one is here. Come on, what do we got here? Whoa, is that the pumpkin? Of course, we get another monster Halloween one. That is crazy. I got to confirm his name because I, I got I to 
And I think that that's called something a little bit easier to say. Or I'm just an idiot and I just can't, like, pronounce this guy at all. I don't know. But, dang, look at that dude, man. He looks pretty kind of confusing up in the arms. But, I mean, it's a cool figure. That is for sure. Check out the bottom. Another hole in the bottom. These could all be whistlers almost. Pomonk. 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 I don't know how to say your name, man. Why do you got to make your name so hard to say? Guys, any of my Brazil fans over there, let me know if you guys spotted these or had these growing up alongside your crazy bones. Did they get mixed in and traded out and uh, flicked across the room just like your crazy bones? Really interesting. Great last pull, though, for this one. Wow, I got three of those guys from Series 2. Uh, I gotta say Series 2 is probably my favorite. Okay, but look, there's actually a difference between all three of these. There's a silver, more of like an obsidian, I guess, and then a gold or a platinum silver platinum gold maybe is how they're doing it with these guys so pretty interesting but that's all three of the big precious metal hits i guess you could say uh definitely are, are rare ones to find a very nice basset gold pumpkin head over here and a thor gotta be my favorite the thor really cool to find him in a gold if i potentially can find these again uh but man it's gonna it might be a minute before you find these again because uh man i have not i only saw these once i bought them and i haven't seen them since <laughs> Here's all our hits one more time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little video and checking these guys out. These jumpers are really sweet. You know I'm going to be looking out for these, even though they're, they are pretty freaking rare. But it, again, leave a comment below if you guys enjoyed and if you like these guys or have them in the collection. I'm really curious because it seems like not a lot of people do. I only seen like one subscriber had a couple once. Um, so I'm really interested to see like how many of you guys actually have some of these in the collection. But thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate all the support. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and stay tuned and look out for more unboxings coming soon on Wednesdays and Sundays. We're going to get back on schedule. I'm going to get myself better, and we're going to be cruising and moving once more. So, again, thank you guys for watching. We will see you in the next one.